Having been a longtime fan of Jim Collins and his books, I was especially thrilled when I got invited to the Jim Collins event in Boulder. And uh, for where I was and am in my life, almost everything he talked about that day just hit home with me. And it was a, a great pleasure for me to be there and to take notes, take a lot of notes. I'm not a, a person that normally takes a lot of notes because I'm an auditory learner, but I was so excited and, and the things that he was talking about, the different uh, ideas that he was throwing out, the different questions that he was asking him about taking uh, a, a, a good half, a good second half and making it a great second half were especially intriguing to me. During the time that I was in Boulder, a really very good friend of mine, I'm a, I'm a pastor at a large mega church in Northwest Arkansas, a very good friend of mine and one of our congregation congregational key members was trying to contact me and trying to set up a lunch. And so I forwarded that email on to my assistant and, and she arranged the lunch and the, the Collins event was on Thursday and it was Monday evening before I got back to Northwest Arkansas. On Tuesday morning, about midway through the morning, this, uh, this man who is a, a corporate executive uh, emailed me and said, hey, I want to change the appointment at lunch from a public restaurant to my home. And I thought, oh, this can't be good. This, this must be something that, that's happened that's not good. And so uh, he then texted me a little later and said, oh, you might be worried, but I'm leaving the company and it's not the end of the world. And so the way he phrased his text, I thought, oh, He's, he's getting ready to go to halftime. He, he's, he's retiring early and it's an exciting time and, and I've just come off this Collins event and so I took my uh, uh, first two pages of my typed notes. I'd already typed up my notes from my Collins event and I, I inserted his name in and, and different areas, he and his wife's name, and, and just started the process or started a two-page a two uh, outline of what that process might be for he and his wife to go through halftime and, and to start asking the question, do I want to have a great second half? Well, when, little did I know when I, when I got to his house and they opened the door for lunch that day, it was not a happy leaving of this corporate culture. He had been asked to leave the company and given a severance package, and he was stunned and disappointed and discouraged after a 17-year career with this big corporation. And I walk in thinking that it's going to be this happy halftime conversation, and so I spent the first hour in typical pastor mode, listening and sympathizing, and then I pulled out my two pages uh, of typewritten notes and I said, you know, this, this seems like it might be the, the, the lowest day of your career, but in my opinion and in, in my estimation, it could be one of the best days of your life because you're only 51 years old and the Lord has set you up in a lot of ways with a lot of blessings, time, talent, treasure, resources, and you could have a significant second half. And the first thing that you have to do is to ask yourself, do you even want to have a great second half. And so we spent the next hour, he and his wife and I, going through the first two pages of my notes from the Collins event. So it's just a, a great God moment for me, a Holy Spirit moment, that at the very moment, at the very day that I was getting all this great information on how to process a halftime, a second half question with somebody, for myself, but with other people as well, somebody in our congregation was going through a very tough day and a very tough moment and needed his pastor to come alongside him with more than just sympathy but a challenge for his second half. And so the, the Jim Collins event for me wasn't just a valuable personal tool but it's already just in the month since the Collins event it's already been a valuable pastoral tour, tool to help uh, men and women answer the questions uh, that Jim Collins threw out to us that day about having a significant second half.